Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we'll be doing this simple uh, shoe design inside Katia V5. Now, find that there are different ways to uh, model this one, but uh, we'll be utilizing the surface tools. So we'll be uh, using generative shape design to design this. Now you can design your own uh, shoe. This is just for the tutorial purpose so don't mind if you find it a bit odd because right now it looks a bit odd but that's fine all right so let's see how we can uh, quickly design this inside Katia v5 all right I'll close this from here I can go to start go for shape and go for generative shape design you can call it show all right the very first thing that we will do is go to insert and access system standard now we have a access system and after that we can start with some basic sketches now the very first sketch that we will do is on the uh, xy plane so let's select xy plane go to sketch we can hide this horizontal and vertical axis and from here we can start with our uh, sole of the shoe and to do that let's start with the spline tool and uh, let's say I can do something like this I can right click and go for close spline and we have a general shape for the sole now comes the part where we have to give the dimension so I can let's say go for 105 distance from here this could be 16.5 Oops, 16.5. We can do dimension for all the points. So 16 from this axis, 87. From this axis, 49 and from y axis 34 from here 1.4 from y axis 33 from y axis 35 from x axis can have let's say 50 then this point from x axis 87 this point from x axis 93 this point from y axis let's say 24 or this one as well so 23 57 36 6.6 and the very last point six 
73 and from y axis this could be 36 all right I will change this one to let's say 30.5. Okay, once you have your sketch fully defined, now these values could be different for you. So these are just for the reference. So yeah, after that we can exit the sketch. And we have the sole of our shoe ready, All right? Now from here, we'll define few planes. So very first plane definition we will define from the xy axis xy plane and the distance should be 57 okay now we will sketch another profile and for that we'll select the new plane which is plane 1 and go for sketching now this time we will sketch basically the portion where the there is a top hole for the shoe and we can use the spline command again let's say i can start from here let's say i can do something like this right click close the spline all right you can also define uh, these points maybe some distance that's up to you i will only adjust these points you can also define these uh, their values to make it uh, more accurate but i will exit from here all right after that we'll define another plane and let's go for XY plane 37 mm okay and we'll select the new plane which is plane 2 and go for a sketch and here what we can do is we can do another profile so that uh, there is a middle portion to our uh, shoe for the multi section and let's go for a spline again let's say we can do something like this okay something like this and we can let's say mirror this one and then use the connect curve Select this one, this one. If you find a, a bit different, you can adjust your. Instead of doing the mirror, I will uh, prefer to use another spline over here. So let's go for a spline definition. Start from here. something like this okay and then select these two go for tangency and then we can join these two curves there right now it's over constraints so I'll delete one of the constraint length so that we can exit the sketch and we have the center sketch for the multi section of the shoe now let's quickly define some points and to do that I will start with the point definition on curve sketch one and let's say we 
define a point over here okay let's do another point and this one will be on the sketch third sketch three basically and for the point let's say I define a point over here okay now we can obviously anytime go and change these points so that's not a problem to that we'll define the very last point on a sketch 2 so sketch 2 okay we have to edit this point so I can Drag it over here. Okay. We'll define another plane this time. And to do that, let's go for plane definition, XY plane, and distance is 11 mm. Okay. And we'll select the New, new plane and go for a sketch to sketch that we can only uh, go for a point if point by clicking and let's say I can define a point over here next it all right Let's define another plane on the x, y, and distance should be 26. Okay. Let's do another sketch. Select plane for go for sketching. Select a point and let's say I have a point over here. All right. Let's do another plane and this time we'll go for offset from plane to at a distance of 9 mm. Okay, then we'll select the new plane which is plane 5 and go to sketch. And all we have to do is select a point and define a point like all right now we have all the points required for our spline definition so before that let's see if they are correct now i want to uh, do one thing over here as i want to shift these points a bit towards the right so i will select it let's move it to here okay Select this one. Zoom in a bit if you can't. Okay. And let's say I'm happy with it. Now, all I will do is go for a spline definition. You can start from this point, this point this point this one this one and this one so this is uh, a bit jiggly so we can adjust it right now so for that I can select this point and let's say I will move it over here okay update that looks more fine I can do the same for this point 
so I can move it more over here okay update you can do the same thing for the very last point which is this one Move it a bit right, okay, update. I can edit that point also, so I will say for here, exit, update. You can refine your uh, line like that. That's up to you. So I will let's say stop over here. Right. This is this will act as a guide curve for the multi section that we will do.